the, the type of school that emphasizes agency, one, the, especially the ones I've started talking to in the democratic school environments and, and, and holistic areas, one of the ways they distinguish themselves from schools that I've delayed contacting is that they've made agency central to everyone in the environment. And, and it's interesting, you know, you've gone through some of the really interesting ways of organizing that process is, yes, we need agency, but we also can't burn parents out. You know, you, you have to have agency, but there's, there's ways that you have to operate and, and, and figure out how to operate. And so you've gone through the challenges and discovered, okay, that's, you know, we did that for a while. Now we're trying something different because it didn't feel like it was really working. Uh, mm -hmm. or, or the situation outside of us changed, and maybe it was working, but something else changed, and we don't think mm -hmm. it's going to continue to work. What, but that, that flexibility, that ability to respond to the needs in the environment, the needs within and out, from outside, um, is, I think, a really important part of, of recognizing what agency means. Because it doesn't just mean in the old freedom, free school, as in freedom, like mindset was, just let them do anything. Uh, right. which wasn't really what went on, but that's the perception mm -hmm. of it. And that's sometimes mm -hmm. some of the people in that time talked about it that way, which was probably yeah. not helpful. Um, mm -hmm. But but that sense that freedom means an individual freedom or an, an individual, but, but there's a larger picture is, and this is, you know, from my perspective as someone who studies psychology, mm -hmm. is that there's there's a sort of implicit assumption that psychology is about one person's mind. And it's not, <laughs> because right. what we've discovered in psychology is you can't separate, you, you can't talk about the the brain or, you know, a mind in a brain without talking about the other minds, the other brains involved in how that situation is occurring. Right. And so it's kind of an interesting, uh, you know, and, and that's where I see some of the rhetoric around free schools can mm. be problematic in a variety of ways. Uh, one of the ways is just from understanding what's happening psychologically. It's like, well, mm. it, it's not the way people think it is. <laughs> right. But then it also shows up in these really interesting organizational ways, is mm. that you're, you're realizing that there's an impact on parents that's not really serving them and it may not be serving the community as well as it could and so you're going to tweak you're going to go from consensus to consent and you're going to go from you know and then you're and then you even have other minds beyond your school in terms of a legislature that says yeah. now we're right. going to do something else here and then you have to say okay those brains are influencing us now too <laughs> and and how do we respond to that and and so you make decisions but that's the thing that really I think it's really important to understand when we talk about agency in English, when you talk about an agent, there's two different meanings of that. One, there's the person making the, taking action, doing something, but there's mm -hmm. also the representative of something. You know, you talk about an insurance agent. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so you have both of those meanings in English. It's really, I, I think it, part of the reason I really in, like that term is because it has both of those meanings. And I understand actually from a, some friends that in other languages it may not have that meaning, but but right. for us it's really you know agency has both yes my agency, but my agency is also shaped by how I'm representing something bigger. Hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So 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 that's where uh, that's why it's so important to emphasize decision-making and conflict resolution is because that's where those two things intersect. You know, one of the things, the other things about the free schools and, mm -hmm. and the idea that people are free is that is that there are things that the kids must do. Right. And and they are not free to hurt others. You know, they're not free. And, and so, so that, and, but that's the thing that is like, if, if you, our language could be better around understanding how embedded the children are in something bigger right. and, and emphasizing that as opposed to merely the individual sense of freedom, which is true, but it's a sense of freedom that occurs within sort of a, an important structure. And that, that's what those questions are about is what mm -hmm. does that structuring look like? This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is 
more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.